Very nice. Very nice. Those will work. Those will work just fine, I think. Oh, hey, survivors. Welcome to Mikey's Gaming Oasis. I'm sure right now you're wondering, what is Mikey doing? Well, I have been asked to collaborate with the stream for Extra Life being held by Roz Clark and Aaron Longstaff. And in doing that, I decided to do some painting on the server. And while I was doing the painting, I got asked by some of the other collaborators, how was I able to do it? And could I teach them? Well, I couldn't teach them. So I sent them the link that you'll find in the description below on how I learned. But while doing it, I learned a couple things as well. Like how painting's just a little buggy, but there's ways to fix it. So we're gonna go over how to paint an arc in this video. So as you see, I have several paintings up on the wall here. These are some of my collab partners for this event for Extra Life with Roz Clark and Aaron Longstaff's stream. So what we're gonna do is, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this link here. When you click on the link in the description below for the ASA Painting Converter, PNT, it'll take you to this site on Steam. What you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says Downloads. And once you get to here, you're gonna download this link right, you're gonna click on this link right here to take you to download the item. It'll bring you here. You're gonna to go to this particular converter. You don't wanna to go to the outdated one. You wanna to go to this one right here. You click on that, it'll prompt a download. I already have it, so click here, you click on download. I already have it, so I'm not gonna go through it again, but you just follow the download process. Once you do, you will get the following. So once you do, it'll bring up this right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the this file right here, which will bring you to the paint converter, such as this. Now this paint converter is very easy to use, okay? So what you're gonna do is, you're, one of the first things you need to do is you need to go in here, you need to change your output directory, okay? Again, you wanna change your output directory. You wanna do this by going to the, hitting the change button right here, and you're gonna to go to wherever your files are saved at for ARC and Steam for my painting. In my case, it's program files, Steam, Steam app, common, ARC survival ascended, Shooter game, saved paintings. I will walk you through that. So what I do here is I come in, go to the C drive, and it's program files for me. Then I go down to Steam, Steam app, shooter game, oh, sorry, common. Arc Survival Ascended, Shooter Game, Saved, and then My Paintings. And then once I select that, I go into it, I then hit Select Folder. That will then change my file path to here. What that does is when you convert an image over to the paint converter, your system on your computer will be able to grab it and use it. Unfortunately, I have not figured out how to get it to work on console yet, but once I do, I will put an update out for you so that you will know. I will also put it in my Discord, which is in the description below. Please feel free to join us on there as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be able to select what you wanna use. You have structure, creature, or human. For this example, we're gonna go with structure, we're gonna go painting, and we're gonna go to by two. Now what that is, that's four cam painting canvases there. You can also pick single flag, multi-flag, wood sign, wood billboard, metal sign, metal billboard, war map, your wooden raft, and they've just recently added in the spotlight. 
which I am very proud of them and very grateful that they that they were able to get that to work. So we're going to stay on the painting canvas. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to open file. And as you see here, I have a bunch of different files all ready to go for two by two that I've already saved and marked them and labeled them and it's a two by two. So what you do is you take them and let's go with my logo here, my two by two logo here. We're going to hit open. And what that's going to do is it's going to show up right there. Okay. I don't like that one because that's one's a little wonky. So let's change that. Let's go with my good friend Songbird's YouTube logo. And we're going to put that in there. And voila, it's there. Now, one thing you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure that all of your boxes here are clicked. All 127 colors are enabled. To do that, you just hit enable all. What that does is it allows, it tells the system that you want to be able to use all the colors and it'll make the image the best possible for that color with using all those colors. Or if you want to limit your colors, you can come over here, you can say disable all, and then you say you want to use 10 colors. Calculate best 10 colors. It comes out like that. So I always recommend, always recommend enable all colors. That way you get the best possible image in your rendering. Once you're satisfied with this and you can adjust the alpha to crisp it up a little bit, bring it down a little bit to your specifications where you're happy with it, then you hit convert to PT, PNT. Now for this example, what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and we're going to pick this nitrato sign right here. I'm happy with the way that looks, so I'm going to convert it to PNT. And when you convert it to PNT, it'll bring up a, it'll tell you a little, a little window will pop up telling you that it's been converted. I, I've already got that one saved, so I will show you on a, another one here. Let's do mean Ren here. We're going to do that. And then we're going to hit right there. It'll do this file successfully saved. Click output directory. Now, what that means is you're ready to go for painting. So let's jump over to a canvas and show you how to do the painting. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply the paint. We're going to go up to our blank canvas. There it is. We're going to grab our paintbrush and we're going to walk up to it and we're just going to smack that paint. We're going to smack that canvas. Okay. You're going to go to the load paint here. And then you just scroll down and find the image that you want. In our case, it's the black and white, Nitrato black and white, uh, two by two canvas. So we're gonna click on that and see how it's gonna tell you what, you what paints you need and what paint resources you're missing. I'm missing a little bit of color here, so I'm missing some black. So let me spawn some in real quick. So if you're in GCM, uh, creative mode, the cheat for this is going to be on the screen. It's going to be give colors and then whatever the value, however many you want of them. In my case, I'm just going to put 100. Actually, I'll do 1,000. Okay, and it'll give me 1,000 of all the paints. Now, to be able to do that, I'm going to have to back out of here again and then go back to the load. Go back to where I had my canvas saved at. Whoops, went too far. There it is. And we're going to click here. And you see how it now says I'm not missing any resources. So I have all the paints that are needed. And I'm going to hit apply. And it's going to paint it. Once that's done, if you're doing multi canvases, there is a grid that you're going to have to follow to figure out where they all go. That grid is right here. Make sense? Okay, so we're going to smack it here. Going to go in. We're going to go back to our, find the canvas we're looking for, which is right here. Two, one. Apply paint. Okay, 
And I'm going to speed us through the rest of this. Okay, and there we are. That is what it looks like. So, remember how I told you in the beginning that it can be a little buggy. Well, if you take a look at what we at our wall here and we compare it to a picture I took the other day, you see that we are missing one of our pictures. That is for one of our partners and volunteers uh, from Ad Adventures with Dread. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Her painting is supposed to be right here. So what we're gonna do is just gonna walk up to the paint, to the canvas again, we're gonna smack it and we're gonna follow the same process so what we're going to do is we're going to refine her logo, which is right here, uh, should be right here, and we're going to repaint it. Apply paint, and it's going to load. Now, you may see the error that I'm going to talk about here in a second, and hopefully it'll show up, and we can move from there. So that one is almost done. We're gonna move over one. See if we can get that on. See if we can get that error to show up for you. Two one based on the grid. This one's two two. Okay, so here's that error. I clicked apply paint and it didn't want to take. So what we're gonna do is gonna go back to load paint. Don't exit out of it, and you're gonna try to reapply it. May take a couple tries, but we'll get it to work. See? And it reapplied, and it worked. And we're gonna do that for the next one. Now, what I have found with this error is once you apply it the second time, the images it may take a minute for it to load in, but it's not going to disappear like it did before. And we're going to put this last panel in and we'll be done with Adventures with Dreads logo. And this one is 1-2 because it's in the first vertical row, but in the second horizontal row. And voila, our wall is now back to where it needs to be. All right. So thank you all for sticking with me as I went through this brief description on how to paint an arc. Keep in mind, you can do this on multiple different surfaces, such as flags, uh, as well as billboards and multiple canvases and all that other good stuff, as well as your fellow tribe mates and animals. Just keep in mind, it might come out a little bit different than what you expect with the animals and tribe mates. Thank you for watching again. If you like this kind of content, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good one, guys.